Well, hi guys, welcome hi. to Tillmore. Hi, thank you. Um, happy to have you here. Please introduce yourself. Um, I'm Chanterelle Volkman, yeah. and I run Wetterfrosh Farm Tools and Silverbeet Farm also. I'm Soro Volkman, um, yep, co-owner, Wetterfrosh Farm Tools and Silverbeet Farm. Cool. And we very are good. sisters. Yes. And located in? Kalamazoo, Michigan. Kalamazoo. All right, very good. We're in Ohio, close by, not bad. Yes. Glad you could make the, the trip down. Yeah. Um, and excited to hear about what, you, what you're doing and what you have. Um, so the Sumisan Tui, did I say that pretty good? You did? Yeah. Um, yep. You guys are here to speak specifically about that. Um, give us kind of the background on where that comes from, um, how you came upon it and all that. Okay, so I first encountered Sumisan Tui when I was traveling in New Zealand many years ago, probably 15 years ago. And I was working on a farm there and they used it. And I thought, okay, this is great. This is perfect. This is what I'll use on my farm. I had no idea that it was not available in the U.S. Okay. So when I came home, started my farm, didn't really have the Sumi Sansui option, so went with other things for quite a few years, and I would occasionally try to track it down, still wasn't really available, and eventually Philip, he's off camera, but he helped get in touch with Sumika, and originally our goal really was just to bring it to our farm to use and that turned into an opportunity to bring more of them to share with other farmers. Yeah, so, awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of the thing where you find something you love, you want other people to experience yeah. that too. Yeah, exactly. So wait, what is it? Yeah. yeah, it's a Japanese irrigation system. It's a tube, a lay flat tube with laser cut holes in it that does a gentle overhead watering. Mm -hmm. And you can pull it out to whatever length you want, up to 330 feet. And then when you're done watering in an area, you can reel it back up again, move it or store it. It's really nice because it's extremely gentle on the soil. It's very gentle on the plants. And at least for the Mark II size, it runs on the same pressure and similar volume to drip tape. So okay. it fits in very readily with any farm that runs drip tape. Yeah, great. Um, so what is it about this that that you loved it so much. Like, you speak with some experience from drip tape, mm -hmm. like comparing it to drip tape. What is it about this uh, irrigation system that you love so much? Okay, so a big part of what I love about it is that you can use it where you want it and then get it out of your way mm -hmm. to cultivate. Yeah, it's and nice and compact, right? I mean, yes. you use it and then you roll it up when you're done and store yep. it so it's not out there getting weathered, it's not in your way doing other things. Yep. And it's nice and compact, so that's great. Yeah, and it's reusable. So okay. we really like to try to cut down on plastic use on our yeah. farm. Absolutely. So we reuse drip tape, even though it's not rated for that and it's very difficult to do. This is designed to be reused. Sure. So one tube can potentially do, depending on the size of your farm, you know, it could even do your whole farm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So high quality, convenient. Yeah. Um, what about effectiveness? So. It's watering, um, you've got drip tape, you've got this. You know, how effective is it compared to drip tape? Um, it's different from drip tape. I would say that they're probably equally effective in what they do. Yeah, Yeah. Great. Drip tape is great if you want water right at the base of the plant. For something like tomatoes, you don't want water on the leaf surface. Sure. But it's very inconvenient for germinating, especially tight plantings of salad or radishes. Yeah. You need a lot of lines of drip tape sure. to do that, whereas yeah. this does a much better job of that. Right. So it's nice and compact. You can see that here. Yeah. This is how many feet of, of line? This is a full roll, so this is 330 feet. Okay. Yep. So that'll cover 330 feet long. Yep. And By okay. about 14 feet wide. Okay. Awesome. And roll it out, roll it up, store it. Yep. When you need it. Yep. This is the winder. So when you roll it out, you can pull it through this. If you're doing the full length, you can put the winder at the end of your row and just pull it out. You can also connect this end to the hose and walk with your winder to the length you want and then just put the stopper in and run it. Gotcha. And then when you're done, wind it back up. This squeezes the water out. Yeah, very smart. And it has a bobbin system, so you can use one winder for multiple rolls if you wanted to. You can swap rolls out. Gotcha. So you can use the same blue part Yep. with multiple lines of this. Yep. yep. Gotcha. Awesome. Yeah, it's been really great on our farm, especially because, like she said, we don't try to leave drip tape and or plastic in yeah. the fields. 
and this way you know you've got that window to get something germinated yeah. you can make it happen yeah. and so you're going to get those plants and that, that crop to market yeah, um, yeah it, it offers that for sure Good. yeah or for plantings in areas where maybe you don't have permanent irrigation installed you maybe want to germinate some cover crop you can bring it out there and do that mm -hmm. um, also nice for fall plantings for germinating fall plantings and you know oftentimes for us we just need to germinate things we just need to water during very critical periods we don't need it out there the entire time mm -hmm. especially going into fall it'll start to rain we can just sure. have it out of there so sure yeah. great describe kind of your farm setup a little more maybe like what do you grow how much do you grow how many of these do you use how often do you use it that kind of thing yeah. okay sure do you want to take that or you want me to um, yeah, sure. I'll take it. You know, get into the crops that you love. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about what you love to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we grow a lot of different veggies, um, primarily herbs and, and stuff also. Mm -hmm. um, and we use we use one Jimmy Sansui for our, um, like, intensive, I would describe it as intensive three-acre um, farming. Um, we do a lot of rotation with uh, cover crop as well, so part of that is in cover crop. Um, the entire season really will transition um, from all of that. So wait, and you said you use one of these for three acres. Yep. This little thing covers three acres? It does. For right. what, yep, for it certainly what we can. Do. That's we do run drip tape for our yeah. tomatoes mm -hmm. and a couple of things. I was going to go into yeah, that sure. too. Yeah. The spot yeah. setting. Yeah, go ahead mm -hmm. and keep Yeah, yeah. We do use drip tape because it, it obviously is an overhead watering system, so you're not putting that on your tomatoes or some of your yeah. other yeah. stuff. So, sure. But it does, it reduces the amount of drip tape that we use on the farm um, dramatically awesome. and helps to get those things in the ground and established, and then they can kind of, the plants can take it away from there. Yeah. Um, and there's not drip tape blowing around and there's not drip tape laying there. Mm -hmm. Then when you don't necessarily even need it, because there's times where we won't even you know, once a, once a crop is established, we won't even irrigate again. Sure. So this really helps with that. Yeah. Well, getting great. that stuff in there. It probably saves on cost too, right, for for drip tape and all that. I mean, you're reusing the same stuff year over year. How many years would you say you use it in a row? Like, you can use the same one for... We're on year three okay. with the first one. And still in good yep. shape, still yep. doing what it needs to do. Yeah, yeah, and we're yep. using it a little, a little aggressively to okay. see, yes. to make yeah. sure. Just to make sure. Mm -hmm. But we're awesome. still using the exact same two that we pulled out of that first box. No kidding. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of hookup setup, you mentioned similar pressure to drip tape. So, like, if I have a, a house with a garden line, I got a huge garden, I want to water that with this, um, or you know, if I have a, a industrial setup, what are we looking at there, like? pressure-wise, is there a pressure range that you need to be in? It needs to operate at 12 PSI maximum. Okay, max yep. 12. Right. Yep. Yeah, great. Yep. I mean, if you go pretty... over 12, you do run the risk of blowing the tube out. Gotcha. So yep. you run the regulator in yes. front to make sure it's Yes. Yep. Yep. yep, and this connects right to any garden hose, standard garden hose. Yeah, so if you're doing the hose connection kit, we have the filter and the pressure regulator right here. If you're tying this into your system, you just need to make sure that you have the right pressure regulation at some point in the system. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So you're doing three acres, you move this around on that based on what you need to water at that time. Yes. And it's very precise for spot watering, um, but you can cover your, your full three acres within that week when you need to. Yeah. That's awesome. And it's nice, it does a rectangular pattern, so that fits in well with most bed systems instead of a round pattern with weird overlaps and dry spots. Okay, that's important. Mm -hmm. Like right now I'm using one of these things in my garden. Okay, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> so hopefully this will be better than that, right? Yeah, It'll probably hopefully. have a better shape for the watering pattern. Yeah, and, I would uh, think so. Better coverage, more even coverage. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, one downside is that the wind can affect it. Mm -hmm. I mean the coverage is under ideal conditions. Wind will sure. carry it a little bit. So. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, anytime you're doing, obviously, overhead or sprinkler, yep. you're going to have that. So. Yep. Yeah, it has all of the drawbacks of any overhead irrigation, mm -hmm. except that it is much more gentle than most. Mm -hmm. So you don't get the pounding on the soil, you don't get the runoff, because it just seeps in. And it's compact. It's not permanent. Exactly. Yeah. So you move farms, just wind that up, take it yes. with you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Love it. You said you started using this three years ago. Mm -hmm. That's kind of when you brought it in. Yep. and you loved using it, and you decided that you want to sp spread the word, get it out to other farmers. Mm -hmm. um, so you've been selling for three years now? 
You've been selling this product for three years? We have had it available to sell for three years, sure. but we kind of took more of a soft launch approach because mm -hmm. we wanted to offer it, mm -hmm. and we also wanted to trial it and test it out yeah. and adapt it and see if it worked the way I remembered, yeah. <laughs> you know, get it onto some friends' farms, get their feedback. Yeah. So that's been the process we've been going mm -hmm. through, yeah. And then we're also farming full time. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> there's that. So that to takes do. on there's a lot that of, too. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Well, hopefully, you know, we can help with that. I mean, ideally, that's yeah. why you're here. We can partner up, um, get this on the website, um, get it visible for other people to use, and yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Hopefully, they'll have the the same love for it as you guys do. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's yeah. the goal, right? Here's so, hoping. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for being here. Uh, appreciate you coming down. It's been good getting to know you and getting to see what you have. So, yeah. Thanks again. Thank right. you. Thank yeah. you.